Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Cahirlach, and welcome to the Tánaiste here today. Uh, Tánaiste, uh, we're here, I know, on the bill, um, you know, the payment of wages, amendments, tips and gratuities, and particularly to acknowledge the work by the Leader of the House, Senator Regina Doherty, and other Senators in the House here as well. And Tánaiste, I welcome your commitment and Fine Gael's commitment to protecting workers' rights here. Um, you know, this is bill, as you've mentioned, is one of five rights that you're, like, bringing forward this year. It's very timely to have this bill on St. Bridget's Day uh, for Embolc, the promise of spring, and so many schools are going to be, I'm sure, making their St. Bridget's crosses today and probably looking for tips as well, but uh, when they're going to get them is another thing. Um, but uh, Tánaiste, I mean, some of the rights that you've mentioned is the right to request remote working. Um, it's so crucial, particularly in regional areas like Roscommon and East Galway, and we've spoken about this frequently. Uh, thirdly, you're looking at statutory sick pay, next redundancy rights for people who were laid off during the pandemic, and finally, here before us, to protect tips that this legislation now means that employers have to pass on tips to employees in all sectors. And that's hospitality, that's taxi drivers, that's hairdressers, and it's tour guides. All of these sectors that were so impacted during the pandemic, our hospitality and tourism, tourism sectors, you know, totally shut down. Um, I suppose, Tanisha, to also acknowledge the low pay commission, of course, for the report on this and officials in your department for work. Um, since our reopening, our hotels and restaurants are full of activity. Like on Sunday, I got to take my family out. Uh, Mum and dad are quite a bit older, but to actually feel safe to bring them out and to see the place absolutely full. Grandparents, you know, mums and dads, kids, the place was absolutely hot when I'd say on a Sunday. To have dinner, to sit down and to see that coming back it was really just fantastic to see. Um, it is so important to us because it was something we did not have during lockdown. That time that we spent with family and friends, we didn't have it, it was gone. Um, we need to ensure that we support our industry getting back on their feet. But also, uh, Tonish, one of the key issues here, as has been mentioned, is staff shortages. Uh, staff shortages in the hospitality area. We need to look at how we're supporting apprenticeships, how we're going to encourage employers and, you know, to take on apprentices. There's supports there, the €2,000 now for employers to take on an apprentice, and €1,000 if they keep them on after six months. Um, in the West, we have Castle Rhee on Kishteen. Uh, it's a state-of-the-art food training centre for chefs and for uh, all types of catering, and also in GMIT and in Limerick as well. Tanishta, I suppose, just to highlight that when the campaign, hopefully, that has been done to promote this, will also highlight the centres of excellence in food training uh, to encourage more people to take on apprentices, but also the centres of excellence in those areas. Um, Tanishta, I, as a student myself, I've worked in restaurants and pubs, and I know how important it was to have tips. I know how important it was as a student. The le like that little extra bit in tips, you know, it made up for the long hours and for the sore feet and, you know, for the low wages. Um, but it is crucial. This is rewarding people in an industry, and we need to ensure that we're re rewarding them and encouraging them, particularly our students, who are doing these part-time jobs, um, particularly as they're going through third level. Um, we have a strong and growing industry, uh, Tanishta, and I suppose it is, it is important that this legislation that you're bringing through uh, is going to protect TIPS, is going to protect people working in this sector. Um, I suppose I would acknowledge as well, uh, you know, Dr Deirdre Curran, who has done a lot of research on this, and has, I suppose spoken to sector reform, um, and about the amount of people who are working in this area. This is the start, I suppose, of other areas that can be looked at to review the reform in this area, but this is the start, and it's something that's going to be clear, transparent for all employees, particularly, I suppose, around the electronic payments, and that that's going to be published by the employer in terms of a statement for all employees to view. Um, I think that's extremely welcome. And I suppose just on the service charges, I suppose what I would like to ask Thonisha is, is there a way on the bill that it can be very clear that this is employers' service charges. Is that something that can be done um, or that can be brought into this legislation as well? Gurmeel Mahagat. Uh, 